Hello out there in YouTube land. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your new domain name to your web hosting company with your web hosts name servers. My name is Janice Giesinger and I'm the internet marketing nomad and I teach new affiliate marketers and internet marketers how to make money online. Now, if you're watching this video, it's because you already have a domain name and you don't know how to connect it to your hosting company. And you probably already have your hosting provider and um, for whatever reason, you got your domain name outside of your hosting provider and you need to connect the two. Now, I'm in this situation all the time. <laughs> because I always buy my domain names from Namecheap well and sometimes Name Silo, but usually from Namecheap and I my hosting company is Bluehost so in today's example I'm going to show you how I add my Namecheap domains to my Bluehost account okay so I'll just uh, put myself in the corner here get rid of that and I'm already logged into my Namecheap account if you don't already have a Namecheap account um, and for whatever reason you're watching this video, there will be a link down below. If you purchase through my link, I will earn a very tiny, small commission from you and I thank you very much for that. But without further ado, this is I have a, quite a large list of domain names and the one I want to add to my Bluehost account is this one here, freebiesandsweepstakes.com. So just go over here to the Manage button, click on that. And I apologize, when I'm recording and I'm sharing Wi-Fi with someone else, it's, um, everything loads a little bit more slowly. So you can see here, I, it's still my freebies and sweepstakes um, domain. And click down here, go down here where it says Name Servers. And you want to add custom name servers, custom DNS. So just click that little down arrow and click on the custom DNS. And you're gonna see here, it's giving you uh, the option to add two name servers, which is perfect because that's all we need to add from our Bluehost account or your whatever hosting account. Usually there are only two. So I'm already logged into Bluehost as well. And it's actually, um, there's nowhere in this part of the site that you can find your name servers. So what I did was I went up here to the question mark. I clicked on that and opened it in a new tab, which brought me here. And in the knowledge base, all I did was do a search in here for name servers. And it brought me here. You can also just go to the welcome email from where you signed up to your hosting account. And I'm blurring all of this out for privacy reasons, but just scroll down to here and it will tell you your name servers. So there's two places to find it, okay? And you could probably just Google it anyway. So I'll just go back to the knowledge base here and I'm going to copy this one here, ns1.bluehost.com. I'm going to control C to copy that. And I'm going to paste it in the first slot here. And then I'm going to go back and get the second one. And go back here and paste it in here. And now to make sure that these, um, that your name service have actually connected, you have to go right here and click the little check mark. And we're gonna get a little, a little notice here. It says DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. Now, I, in my experience, I've never had to wait that long. Usually it happens in a few minutes. I think I've waited as long as 15 minutes. But just so you know, maybe it depends on your proximity uh, to where you are in the world, your proximity to the, um, the closest server for your hosting company. So that's it, you guys. That's how easy it is 
to set up your domain name to your hosting account. Now, like I said earlier, if you don't already buy your domain names through Namecheap, you can get a Namecheap account by clicking the link below in the description. And you guys, if you don't already have hosting, you might want to consider getting a Bluehost account. I really like Bluehost. I've had them for almost two years now, and it's, I've never stayed with a hosting company this long, but they are my favorite. I can have unlimited websites, and uh, I got a three-year term for super cheap. And if you want to try it out, you can click the link down below. If you do get Bluehost through my link, I will earn a small commission from that and I want to say thank you in advance. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload WordPress to your new domain name in Bluehost. So thanks for watching you guys. Please remember to like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I will see you in the next one. This is Janice over and out.